Hello there everyone, welcome back to another Market Watch for the One Piece card game. Uh, apologies for a bit of an error in last week's video, I accidentally had a filter set on that only shipped to the United Kingdom, so whilst the prices were accurate, not everything was out of stock, it just wasn't shipping to the UK. That's my bad, very embarrassing, but uh, we move on. Um, this of time I have fix that. Also, if you're interested in competitive One Piece TCG content, you should check out my Patreon. I recently uploaded my in-depth guide to Ivankov in OP02. This joins my Whitebeard guide and my uh, Kinemon guide. Uh, the Kinemon guide helped one of the uh, one of my patrons um, get a top eight at his uh, championship event, so uh, clearly they're not they're not bad. Um, so please do check those out uh, if you are interested in supporting the channel and getting access to those. Also, um, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in One Piece content uh, and Battle Spirits content as well, as you've probably seen if you've been watching the channel over the last week or so. I know something like 70% of my viewers are not subscribed, so I'd appreciate it if you hit the button. All right, shilling out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the video with some absolutely obscene prices. I mean, what on earth is this? $4,000 for a set one case. 4000 2,000 for set two, 2,000 for set three, 15, I mean, this is unbelievable. There, there is, I mean, I find it absolutely nonsensical that anyone would even consider spending this kind of money on these products. Like, honestly, if you want sealed product, take an L, buy one box for $310 and just keep it sealed. If you just really want to have a sealed box, that's fine. But like, you should not be buying at these prices to crack open. That is phenomenally stupid in my opinion uh I, absolutely ridiculous the super pre-release set is now 620 dollars um i remember back in the good old days and this was only 400 um the super release red 240 for some reason pre-sales on the 20th anniversary car collection going for 200 i know someone who bought 25 of these and i reckon he's going to be a happy guy <laughs> when they come in over the summer he's probably going to make a tidy bit of change um you know just ridiculous prices across the board. I think what I find very, very concerning is this starter deck set is $230. But if we go down here to the starters, right, um, the base rarity starters, the base starters, $75, $60, $50 for fucking starter decks. I mean, this is unbelievable. Now, I will say, I don't know what the state is in the U US, but in the UK, starter deck restocks have started to come in. Over the last week and over this month, there will be restocks of starter decks. So this is really, really good news because you need every single starter deck to play pretty much any color, right? Purple, you need both purple starters. You cannot play purple on a competitive level without these starters. Black, you need it. You need Impact Wave. You need the Smoker. Um, green has Bonnie, right? Like Red, God. Red has the Luffy. Red has um, the, you know, Jet Pistols. Um, blue is the least essential. And that still has Love, Love, Mellow, which is an essential card. So the, the fact of the matter is we need these things. So I really, these really need to get restocked as a priority. Um, but yeah, once again, sealed product is absolutely <laughs> obscene. Um, if we move on to promo cards, um, we do see some something interesting here. So um, whilst uh, there are only two listings at $9,000, the market price is about $5,700 on this uh, Serial Luffy. This is going to continue to decrease as more and more of these enter uh, circulation. Uh, Winner Luffy down to about $1,000. This is down. Jimbei, $110. Winner Smoker down to $60. Ace at uh, $46. Uh, Uta at 40, Bartolome at 40, Sengoku at 35. Um, nice, I would have said it's very nice to see the winner promos coming in at very reasonable prices. 25 US dollars, very, very reasonable. I think, I hope they stay around there, that, because I think 20 to 30 bucks for a winner promo, very reasonable. Um, there's not that many out there. There's four of them available. I think that's fine. This is one of the very few times I've seen a promo price in this game. Been like, you know what? That's reasonable. And if we go, uh, the winner Frankie though, only 10 bucks is kind of funny. Um, but if we, uh, and we see like all the old winner promos as well, just Crash Cross, winner Black Marie as well, $8. So clearly the valuable ones here being Ezo and the winner Don, um, that makes sense. Um, and you know, generally uh, outside of basically the, the stuff up here, which for some reason, I, I guess Smoker at 65 bucks is probably underpriced in my opinion. I think I think this uh, Super Release promo should be like 100 bucks. I think there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but yeah, pretty much everything else actually at fairly reasonable prices, um, which I do find to be quite surprising, but I'm certainly not complaining. You know, we see here the winner law, nine bucks. I mean, Jesus, bloody Christ. Um, yeah, very reasonable. I'm really glad to see Sunny Kun only being $6. I was expecting this to be 30 um, because I was just like, well, you know, it's a limited distribution period and it's a mandatory four of in, in Zorro, but turns out enough of these went into the wild that it actually has not been an issue. Um, so I am very glad to see that. Of course, the Uta film packs still absolute stonks when you look at the number of good promos in there that you actually do use. Um, very much worth picking those up. So Definitely a big dub, but overall the promo is not looking too bad. Just some of the sussier prices on the uh, on the exclusive uh, tournament ones. 
If we move into alt arts now, uh, again, we're seeing very reasonable prices. $7 on queen, $11 on jack, $25 on ulti. Makes sense. Sanji, down to 35 It was a very reasonable price um, for how good this card is. Uh, Doffy at 40 again, very reasonable. Nami, of course, sky high at 230 but Nami is going to be relevant for at least two years, in my opinion. So um, this one, again, I said, if you were going to invest in a single alt art and you just wanted to hold on to it and you wanted it to retain value, I would have chosen Nami, and I stand by that. Um, so not a huge amount of movement here, but, you know, again, pretty reasonable prices. Uh, moving in to SRs, uh, we're seeing more price degradation here in the alt arts. Uh, Zora down on 100 bucks, Hancock at about 80, Law at about 80, uh, Mihawk at about 40. I think Mihawk's seen a little bit of an increase. Uh, Luffy at 36, Kid at 30, big crash. 27 on Kaido, again, big crash. Uh, Kid, uh, King at about 20, was where he was, 15 on the Crocodile, uh, 13 on Kinemon, so he's seen a bit of upwards, <laughs> upwards movement. Um, but otherwise, um, very standard, uh, on the base rarity SRs, outside of Zoro, which costs $27. Not surprising with how staple Zoro is in every red deck. Um, Law, bit of a price decrease to 10 bucks, but overall, singles on base rarity are looking very, very good. Um, I don't think I could complain about a single one of these base rarity singles prices, and the alt hearts, I, I think, are pretty reasonable. Considering how good most of these are, I don't think these are horrendous prices. If we move into the secret rares, Manga Shanks, $934. Uh, alternate art, Yamato at 110, base rarity at 30. Uh, alt art, Shanks at 25, base rarity at 12. This doesn't really surprise me, I think, because Shanks, um, really had its heyday in set one. It's basically never going to be relevant again. Um, so it's very much just a collector's piece at this point. So I think these are normal prices, whereas Yamato actually legitimately can see some play in Kinemon. Uh, and finally, the leader alt arts, Zoro, sky high, 240 bucks. This is unsurprising. Uh, Law at about 150, uh, Doffy at about 100, uh, Luffy at about 85, 60, 50, 40, 30. So these basically have not shifted. Um, this is pretty much the market settled price for some time now. So set one, not Honestly, that much of that has changed. Let's take a look at what has happened with set two. So we start with the rare alts um, and uh, black uh, a little bit back in stock. Uh, as I recall, this was sold out completely last week. But again, that might have just been a regional error. Uh, somehow the most expensive alt art in the set, though, in the rare slot is Monkey D. Garp. Marco in second place at 33. I do think this is a little bit of cap from the market because Ace is still fundamentally very, very good. Um, so is Whitebeard, and Zoro decks in JP are also using a Whitebeard Pirates engine. So, and in every single one of those decks, you're playing four copies of Marco. So I do think this is a little bit of a, a mis mispricing, uh, and I do expect to see Marco slowly climb as, you know, Whitebeard continues to do well uh, over in the Japanese format. But again, we haven't actually seen any major events in this new ban list format yet, so we will need to see. But of course, if you're interested in seeing those results as soon as they come out, you should subscribe to the channel, or join my Discord server, or follow me on Twitter, where you will see that sort of stuff first. Uh, Buggy, I think, at a very reasonable 25, 30 bucks. Uh, Luffy at 20, again, pretty reasonable. Sadie at 20, and uh, Master Use at about 8 bucks. I think these are all pretty damn reasonable. Into the SRs. Uh, Ace, Manga Ace, about a grand, uh, makes sense. Uh, Whitebeard, uh, Newgate, down to about 85. I believe this is down a good 20 to $30 from peak. Uh, Borsalino at 53, but you can see significantly fewer listings, uh, on Borsalino than others. Uh, Kuzan at about 50, and Sakazuki at about 55. I think these are all pretty reasonable prices for just how bloody good every single black SR is. Uh, Odin at 45, again, very reasonable considering how good it is. Uh, Altar Ace at 40, I think very reasonable again. Uh, Luffy at 35, uh, Nami at 30, Ivankov at 25, Magellan at 20. I think these are all pretty damn reasonable. Very happy to see Whitebeard tanking down in price to about $13. Um, I think this is very, very fair. Uh, and very reasonable uh, base rarity uh, prices across the board, uh, honestly, on all of these SRs. Once again, um, you know, red is the most expensive deck in the game, but pretty much anything else, but even red, um, can be made for 150 bucks or so, um, even factoring in like shagged prices on starters, um, maybe 200. And if you're and starters are going to be like half of that. Whereas, um, you know, if you're getting them at a reasonable price, this game is very, very cheap and remains to be so. Um, black, I think, probably the most affordable uh, deck in the game at the moment, factoring in the starter deck crisis, just because black starters are actually reasonably available. Uh, but once these uh, ST is one to four uh, come back in, in reasonable quantities, we should see uh, this whole game be very, very, very affordable. It already is, though. Uh, secrets though, here's where we see some hefty prices, 80 bucks per alt art Kuzan, $60 for base rarity Kuzan, uh, 30 on alt Uta, and $7 on base rarity Uta. Um, these make sense, uh, I think, you know, it would be a little bit, a little bit shit if alt art Uta was anything less than 30. Um, Kuzan being 60 really does make sense though, like, these secrets are rare, guys, you get maybe a playset in a case, maybe, um, and, you know, it's kind of a mandatory four in every single black deck right now, so you can't really play black without 
four copies of Kuzan. Now, of course, I've got my four alt arts because I wasted a lot of money. But, you know, it's a, it's a real issue that people are going to have to deal with if they just want to play black uh, for the foreseeable future. So at three, that will change, though. And finally, we have our leader alt arts. And my god, motherfuckers love Smoker. 165 bucks. Smoker being pretty much the same price as Edward Newgate. This crazy. Kinemon up at 120. Again, makes sense of just how good he is. Uh, Sanji being a little more than Ivankov, I do find quite surprising, but fair enough. Uh, Zephyr at about 60, Garp at about 60, and Magellan shockingly high at about 55, but I am absolutely baffled by that Smoker price. Uh, I, I do not think Smoker is anywhere near as good as Whitebeard, um, and in terms of use and longevity, like you're definitely getting way more out of Whitebeard than you are out of Smoker, but you know what? People just like the characters, and I'm very happy that they do, because um, it makes me feel a lot better about the amount of money I spend on my black alts when I see them being so damn expensive. So, there we go. Another week, another market watch. I hope you guys find these videos useful. Please do expect to see them. I don't know what's happened to the to the white, to the, to the bloody white balance on this. It just randomly uh, shatters. There we go. Um, <laughs> I don't even know that's really helped anything, but yeah, uh, if you guys, I, I hope you guys do enjoy um, these market watches. Uh, please do expect to see them uh, on a weekly basis. Should be fine from now on. Uh, I'm not going to be insanely busy with other stuff, so I'll be able to keep doing these. Uh, the upload schedule is looking like for the next, for the foreseeable future anyway, we're going to be a Battle Spirit set review video per week, plus a Market Watch per week, plus a One Piece content video per week. Um, at bare minimum, uh, potentially an extra video uh, slapped in there because obviously seven days will just depend on my availability. But I do hope you guys are looking forward to all that. Please do subscribe to the channel for more One Piece content, of course, Battle Spirit Saga content. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, and I do hope to see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.